Hi, it's Jen, and you're watching Kite Bite Boat Entertainment, the DIY K-pop idol project. Today, we're going to be learning how to play the Korean version of rock, paper, scissors. In Korean, you say kawi, hawi, ho. Kawi is scissors, hawi is rock, and ho is short for a pozagi, which is the traditional Korean wrapping cloth. So the order is a little bit different and the items are a bit different than rock, paper, scissors. For scissors, you can do the two fingers up like the peace sign or V sign. You can also do like an owl. For rock, usually it's just a fist. For wrapping cloth or paper, you can do just fingers together. I've also seen this where people put their hand, like their fingers spread. You can say kawi, pawi, po, this sort of long version, but people usually shorten it to kai bai bo. So you take out the w sound in the kawi, pawi, and you change it to kai bai bo. Often K pop idols will say a little phrase before they start playing kai bai bo. And to me, for the longest time, it sounded like they were saying something like and the lingo kai bai bo. What they're actually saying is an ne myan dingo. That is often translated in some titles as if you don't play, you lose. But let's see what it actually breaks down to say. An means don't. Ne myan is made up of the verb ne da and myan, which is the ending for if. Ne da means to put out or show. So putting all together, an ne myan means if you don't Put out your hand or if you don't show your hand or if you don't play. The second part of the phrase is jingo. This is made up of the verb dida which means to lose and ngo. The grammar explanation is a little bit beyond this video but just know that ngo is put on there to use as clarification or explanation or to emphasize that this is what happens if you don't play or if you don't put out your hand. Putting it all together, it's an, ne, myan, jing, go, kai, bai, bo. If you don't play, you lose kai, bai, bo. That was probably way too much grammar than you needed to know, but I wanted to explain more fully what the actual sentence means because for the longest time, I could not understand what they were saying. So I wanted to break down the sentence so you can have a better idea of which what each of the words in that phrase means. An, ne, myan, jing, go, kai, bai, bo. That is the basic version of how you play Korean rock, paper, scissors. If you want to up the level a bit, you can play with two hands. What you say is Instead of putting out one hand at the end of that phrase, you put out two hands and then you add the phrase Hanabegi. Hanabegi means to take away one or to subtract one. Hana, one. Begi is a combination of beida, which means to take away or subtract, and gi. It's similar to the ngo ending. You can read about it in the description below. Don't worry about the grammar. So for the two-handed version of Korean rock, paper, scissors, you would say an ne myan jing go kai bai bo hanabegi. And on the gi, you would take away one of your hands. Sometimes they kind of take away one hand, but also put the other hand forward to make it more of an emphasis. The hands that go forward, those are the ones that are, are being compared against each other to see which one wins. We've gone over how to play regular Korean rock, paper, scissors, how to play with two hands. Then there's also when K-pop idols will play in a group, obviously because there's lots of members in a K-pop idol group, they'll play in a circle and they'll put their hands into the middle. So when you play in a group, what happens is that you keep playing, you keep saying kai bai bo, kai bai bo, kai bai bo, until you only get two of the same signs or signals. If you get all three, if you get scissors, rock, and cloth, you keep playing and playing again until the only signs that everyone is showing just shows two. Because if you have all three showing, it's not clear who was one. So you, you want to have two groups almost. 
one group has a losing sign and one group has a winning sign. If when you play in a group you're trying to get a winner, then it's the winners will continue to play. If you're trying to identify who the loser is going to be, then it'll be the losers who continue to play and then you, one, one final person either wins or one final person loses. Then the question is, in what situations would you play rock, paper, scissors? Often you'll see K-pop idols doing this when they're trying to figure out who is going to get a punishment. For example, who's going to pay for the food or who's going to clean up the practice room or who's going to do you know, something that you don't want to do to get the punishment. Sometimes it might be that you want to find a winner, the person who's going to choose teams or the person who's going, who's going to choose the order in which people perform or do something or they get to choose the benefit in whatever reality show or interview or whatever they're doing. Now you know how to play regular rock, paper, scissors, two-handed rock, paper, scissors, and rock, paper, scissors in a group. I hope that was helpful and informative for you. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have questions about any other Korean games that you have seen on K-pop idol shows or interviews that you want explained, you can leave a comment below. Uh, other than that, please like and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye! Nominalization? Nominalization? Nominalization?